you know, I'm so disappointed. There's so many things that I've planned and then COVID comes in and all these things come in. I'm so disappointed. I hope there's an answer for me. High five. 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 And given a vision by God, a destiny by God, all these things have been appointed for you. Okay. Have been given to you. So when disappointment tries to come around, you can remember that God who appointed you isn't going to change his mind about the good plans he has for your life. Okay. Get wow. it. Get it. That, suff or that prefix, dis, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. means away from. Right. Okay. okay. So, um, when it, when it comes to really the root of this word and the notion should be appointment. We shouldn't be thinking about disappointment right. as, as being the primary subject. Disappointment is, is like a version or an extrapolation of the notion of appointment. Yes. We've been pulled away from our original appointment. Yes. The thing that we were scheduled to do, we've been pulled away from. Yeah, and I can understand that. You know how the, oh, she dissed me. I dissed this person. Yeah. That means to actually be away from. Yep. Yes. And so what Mary is saying, what Wyatt's saying, what I know to be true is if I put my eyes on Jesus, put my eyes back on what I am called to do, all the dissing of that appointment must bow down. You know, I was talking to somebody uh, just the other day and uh, a wonderful opportunity or an appointment uh, seems like it's getting ready to come for them. Awesome. But uh, for the past year or so, they have been so disappointed because of the situations that they've faced. They, they're having a hard time even having hope oh. for this appointment to come wow. and happen. You can get conditioned in your mind to lose your hope, to lose your ability to think, yeah, good Things can happen for me. Exactly. Because God is good and he has appointed us for very good things in our lives. And unlike, um, you know, the president who is appointed in office for maybe four years, our appointment never runs out. Yeah. You know? A permanent Excellent. appointment. We have a permanent appointment. See how, see how the English language has put the emphasis on disappointment. Yeah. We really have to have the, the emphasis on appointment. Appointment a scheduled time mm -hmm. for you to go and receive something yes. or do something or accomplish something. That's where our, our, our focus needs to be. And, and it's robbery. It's actually robbery yes. to be taken away from your appointment. Mary, you, you talk about one of your favorite scriptures in Jeremiah, I think it is, is, mm -hmm. it, is, it, is that God has has plans for you, yes. plans for good. That's your appointment. You have an appointment with good. Absolutely. Yes. And plans to give you a future and a hope. Yep. And and when God makes a plan, you know it's going to come to pass That's right. exactly as he has said because it becomes his responsibility Absolutely. to fulfill your appointment. That's right. You know, it's interesting because the Bible says you'll never be disappointed. And I'd read that and go, but I have been. <laughs> it's not true. But God says the call that we have on our life is irrevocable. He said you will never be separated from your appointment. So maybe you've had disappointment in the past, but God said he's the one that will fulfill his call. His call is to hollow and keep us, to keep us set apart and to keep us going. He'd begun a good work in you. He'll see it to completion. You will never be disappointed. Amen. Or Amen. put to shame. Or Amen. put to or shame. Or put to shame. High five. High, High five. five. High five. High five. High five. High five. No disappointment. No. Mm -mm.